everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the Salt 2 playthrough. Man, I just had a really good laugh. <laughs> I just had a really good laugh from all you guys. So, I just went through the... Also, Callie gets me like the really good highlighted messages that I need to read. <laughs> it's been... Mm, I got messages from back when I was... I asked about the coins, so people told me that. People, a lot of people are so saying to add, add the islands, right? So update last position, center last position, center waypoint marker, and somehow add, add an island here. Click on a square to add or remove your waypoint marker. Okay. Anyway, where we were was down here <clears throat> end of the last episode at that we the place we have to go back to right for the uh whatever we'll see it here in a second and i said right around the zero mark there was a couple of things going on here so i, I traveled up here on the way up here i didn't obviously mark the island but on the way up here i found an island it was a desert island nothing on there except this weird little base uh, nothing underground, no caves, no nothing. Weird little base. And it was the king's something. Look what I got. I got this thingy. This guy. Precious king's blade. Now the damage isn't really... It's not really much more. It's actually less on the secondary attack. Um, it's got minus three armor. But I have an effect on it, uh, and BP mentioned it too, and thank goodness I, I caught this one myself, is that all the equipment, either the, the uh, weapons or the armor, you got to pick those perks. And I wasn't doing it for the first couple episodes, but I caught on to that. So you can see what I have on this. It's got plus seven constitution, which is more health, right? Minus three armor, whatever, plus one strength, but I've got an effect of lifesteal on it. So I actually was fighting a guy, and, you know, I, you know, when I get to where I'm just like, screw it, I'm just going to stand my ground and do this. And I'm like, look at my health. I'm like, wait a minute, that guy hit me a couple times. Why do I, why, why don't I have any health lost? Well, Obviously, I got some life steal from it. So that's the first island that I called out that we're going to go to. Uh, this is probably not going to make any sense. We came from down there. We have three islands. This was the furthest south. So one there, one up there, and something else. But I hit this island. There's also an island, I think, right over there. So we're going to work in this section a little bit. I believe, let's just double check. I think I went on to this island. What I was trying to do was um, hit hit some of the islands that I saw that weren't where we were going specifically to see what was on there. Like, obviously, get wood, get get the, um, the flowers and all that, but also see if I could come across any, um, any of those warlord places, because that's what we need. So we came from that warlord totem cave, and now we're just up here. I think I did this one, but check this out. So this was... Of course, the, the one time I don't record a video, because I'm just trying to get up here, I come across two new things that we haven't seen. One was that King's Place, and the only real difference was um, it was like a, a fort, you know? Like, picture this just with wood around it. That's all it was. But there was wolves, and they were card called guard dogs or something. And, yeah... One almost killed me. I sat there swinging on him, and one almost killed me. But I fought the king, got him. I just figured even if this thing isn't way better, it was time to use a new melee weapon. So that was that an island right back there. Now this island here, this had skeletons here. And I was here at night, actually. I went through this all already. And I need to go back in here, though. Um... I got some new recipes on that King's, um, on that pirate one, but also in here, something called an ancient key. And you have to collect this certain stuff, right? Let me see how, figure out how to do this. Click a square to add 
or remove your waypoint marker. I should have looked this up before I started recording. Now you guys are going to give me hassle. So if I do... If I do the sextant, should be center last known position. Update last known position. Okay, that's where I'm at right now. Add island to last known position. There we go. So you have to click inside the square, the, the circle, I guess, and then you add the island. The only thing is, it doesn't tell me. I can't say skeletons, ancient key thingy. This was pretty cool in here. We'll just jump in here real quick because I, I don't know. There's this weird sea foam. I've already cleared this. This was uh, last night I did this. But look at this place. It's a grotto. And then I believe it's it's up over there. There's a chest that needs the ancient key. But there was a bunch of skeletons in here. Cleared them out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, I guess I guess what we'll do is we'll go hit we'll go hit the island that we are supposed to. And what I'm talking about here is maps. So this right here, that's the Warlord Shrine. That's where we have to go back to once we get all these keys. But here's a shipwreck, right? So just look at one south, seven south. Oh, that's a new shipwreck. Nine north, one north, four north. And then, yeah, now I'm really confused because I got more maps. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're here. I know that there was like three islands around the 17 and 18 mark, which we're we're at 20 right now. So we go back over here to that 17, but at, it was at minus one or one south and then one north or something. So this batch of islands is the ones we want to check out for show. Because I still... See, there's that one I was talking about over there. The reason I want to go to that island is, look, I don't know if it's because I'm so far away, but those trees look brown. And that was one of the things, right, that the first cartographer told us about brown, the hard island. So we're going to go to that one for show. For show, for show. But this other one to the left was actually the island we were supposed to go to. I still haven't got, um, I haven't advanced anything other, the only real thing that advanced was I got that, that sword, and I showed you it's, um, it's, uh, hey, you know what, I definitely probably would have got that wood when I was here, because I ran right across here to get back to my ship, so I'm wondering if you leave, if you leave the game, and then come back if, like, the wood maybe respawns. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Um, you can see I'm at nine health potions. I got all the way down to four at that king's place. Uh, most of it from the wolf. But they were pretty tough. And I got back up to nine by looting the rest of that and, and this island here. Tough. It's tough keeping up with that stuff now. So we're going to go to this island over here. I guess what would be cool about marking the islands is you could mark, like, a group of islands. But if it's an island that I don't think I need to come back to, I know I need to come... I want to come back to here. Uh, I'm going to show you this. So, the, here it is. The ancient key, right? So, I got a uh, parchment that unlocked this. And then the very next island I went to had a, had a chest that needed an ancient key. All right? And you can see that I didn't have any of this stuff before, but... Doing things on this island, I got some ancient, enough ancient moss, but I need ancient stone shard. All right, so this is just going to come to us organically, hopefully. You know, still can't craft anything there, so we're going to head over to that island there. This is one of the islands that we have a map for. I'm 99% uh, sure. <laughs> Look, there's another. See, there's a dead. So we'll hit this one. We'll hit that desert island. We'll we'll loop around this one as the center. I don't know if it is the center island, but I definitely want to go to that one because look, we're far away from this, and those are green trees. That one over there is brown, and I'm thinking 
that may be where we find these warlords to get these tokens. Oh, the other thing was, as I was sailing, you see the red thing on my, on my wheel? So if I have that up right there, it stays true. The um, compass. So if I'm going a long way, just reset it to there, I guess. That's what I'm trying to get at. What you want to do? I'm enjoying this game. I hope you guys are. It's, it's just starting to get hard. It's, well, not that it wasn't hard before, but it's getting harder. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to make this turn. Oh, shoot. Uh, uh, ooh, oh, it's not working. I'm gonna. I'll reset the boat. Whatever. Hiya! All right. What do we got here? Actually, I am kind of hungry, and I went through a. I had a lot of food. Uh, I think I'll just eat these bananas up. I had a lot of food, and I was using it for uh, recouping health. What can you do, man? Oh, skellies. I'm, I'm like a, a little bit fed up with the bow, honestly. All right, here we go. You could, you'll be able to see like how much damage they do to me. Um, it, it's like, uh, pops numbers up off my, my health bar there. And you'll see, I was getting like a lot of one damage against me. And I even tried blocking a little bit. And then other times... So I'm guessing... See, that was one damage. One damage. Three damage. Five damage. But look, my health is... Some of those numbers are plus. Because look, my health went back up. So I think one, one was white and one was like red. Anyway, this sword with lifesteal is huge. That's all I'm going to say. It's huge. You know, in the tougher fights, this probably needs an ancient key to get in. So seeing that these are skeletons, maybe there's more of that ancient stuff on this island that I can get. I found the tower, but it's locked. I can't find a way in. Maybe there's a lever around here somewhere. I need time to look, but it's hard with skeletons crawling about. All right. So... I've, I think I've got the books kind of figured out. When you see it's like um, excerpts from or a poem, it's just for your casual reading. When you see it's something like that, usually a lot shorter of a paragraph, it, um, it's something you want to read. It's going to tell you, I don't know, like, uh, hey, there's maybe a lever around here. It's going to tell you things like that. So I get, remember the one I gave so and so the key because they're the key master, right? Yeah, something like that. So, all right, if you were a lever, where would you be? You would think the lever would be on the building, right? In these olden days, they would have to be connected. They would have to be connected via rope. So you would think the lever would be on the building or right here. Look at the copper. What I was uh, saying earlier, what I always do, start saying something and stop and forget, was I still don't have my uh, iron pick because my woodworking skill is not high enough yet. Um, making arrows gives you woodworking skill. Uh, if you look, I got 22 arrows. So I haven't been making a ton because, I don't know, I, I, I think I need a better bow. I At first I was uh, curious that uh, all the melee was going to be kind of the same. Whoa, jeez. All right. But once I got this sword, I'm like, wait a minute. It doesn't have to be uh, ginormous differences in damages. As long as you do see some kind of difference. What, what's the over and under on that needing an ancient key? Lovely Scholar's Cutlass. It doesn't need an ancient key. What is that stuff? Scuffed Diamond. Ooh, Scuffed Diamond. 
They're like, hey, I'm gonna make it worth your while if you wanna parkour your big butt up here. Cool. That was fun. A little parkour. Oh! Okay, never mind. A little parkour action. So, once I got this sword, and like I said, it wasn't that big of a difference. Actually, the secondary attack was one less. But seeing that lifesteal on there, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm thinking, that sounds pretty good because it's pretty hard to avoid. The blocking is an all about timing thing. And you guys know my timing is terrible. But uh, oh, someone <laughs> commented, they're like, oh my god. It is so absolutely frustrating that you don't pay attention to the screen. But I, I laugh my butt off because of it. And that's the that's the whole idea. If, as, long as, you, <laughs> as long as you laugh at my... My mediocrity. <laughs> it's all that matters. Look at that guy right there. He wants a piece. He wants a piece. See, even doing that stuff. I, I mean, really, I just want to get these guys out here. The other thing I was finding is I had a little bit greater reach than I thought. So I could stay back and make them miss because of it. And then get use my greater reach. Not just with the sword. I actually figured that out still with the hatchet that I was going in much closer than I needed to, not giving me the ability to back up, you know, and get away from these fools. It doesn't always work, but it it's good for maybe one or two, two hits during a fight. Crumbling respite, starfish. Wooden bowls. Oh, a lock pick. Hey, that's the first time we used it. We have we had two lock picks that we found. I I wonder if I can cra I think I can craft. Maybe I should craft lock picks. Anyway, what that just reminded me of was there was a hut like this. Uh, I think it was on the King's Island. Remember, I was talking about the shack key, and I couldn't get into those shacks. That I probably needed that shack key somehow. Um. But just like this, I'm like, oh my gosh, there is good stuff in here. There is good stuff in here. I just, I didn't see if that was a copper that I had just picked up. You can see that I'm pretty full. I need to sell or I need to dump stuff in my, in my ship because I'm getting... Oh, hello. Okay, that guy just hit me for nine, six. Uh, I got six back. I got two back. So he hit me for nine, and I got eight back. <laughs> wow, that first hit was no joke. This is another, like the the last island. The island I ran over there to show you this thing. It's the same thing, except it's daylight. <laughs> I did it at night, which was hard because it's like uh, uh, foggy. And I noticed that the parchments that are rolled up are just parchments. The parchments that are open actually give you new recipes to unlock. And these fools, they drive me bonkers. They don't have to be looking at you, and then they run away from you. Yeah, they're jerks. Oh! Hello. I did notice when I was fighting a bear, I circled around him like this, and he couldn't bite me. Actually took a lot of damage there. Better take a health potion, because this is the skeleton guardian. I'm just, I'm watching the numbers right now. I know I'm not fighting good. I'm watching the, wow, he just... Hit me for a solid eight. Nomadic tunic, rite of passage, key shard, and a skull. Oh, it gave me another ancient moss. I took a ton of damage. Did that not give me any health? Too old to consume? Ripeness, rotten. Oh, shoot. I did not know that. Rotten. 
Ripe. Okay. So, edible. Okay. So I've been sitting on that food. I've been sitting on that food and now I know you can't. Rotten. Ripe, ripe. Edible. Ripe. Ripe. Okay, learn something new every day. Apparently the food goes rotten. That's not good. My Look how low my health is. I... That was not a good fight. Ancient chest. You know, at first I used to do this and see what was in there. Then I started grabbing it. Some of those chests, I should not do that. But I can blink into here to see what I got as far as wearables. It's got the little asterisk next to it. So we picked up a nomadic tunic recipe. And we picked up another ancient key recipe. So now I got three of these. I can sell these by the by, all of these. I still have two lock picks. Didn't break it, apparently. So here's something new. Rite of Passage Key Shard for a mysterious key. This shows all. I just look for those asterisks like this. All right, it's getting dark. I think I, knowing me, I'm going to get to the point where I push the limit on either encumbrance or amount of junk in your inventory. Copper, ancient, mo that's what I need right there. Ancient stone shard. I need like two more of those guys. Nice. I need two more of those to, to make an ancient key. I don't think I have enough. I guess I could look in my inventory. Um, pirate cutlass. I gotta look for those thingies. So here's the ancient moss. I have plenty of that. Why don't I see... Here it is. Ancient stone shard. So I only have two. I'm pretty sure I need three of these to make a key. And I'm pretty sure that I'll need it in here. Oh, wow, this place is huge. I'm a little concerned about my health. That's, that's the lowest it's been in a while. Oh, well, not since the wolf attacked me. There's one, two, three, four, four that I can see. I just wish the bow did a lot more damage. Oh, there's five. Oh, there's five guys in the wide open here. <sighs> Look at, I've got some kind of focus thing going on. See journeyman's boots and focus. Let's try the bow. See, it's not it's barely doing any damage to that. I know it's probably not a headshot. Oh, I also have some kind of freeze element, a chance of freezing. I think based off of effect ice armor. It's supposed to slow them down and I've seen the snowflake pop up on their on their hit bar. I've never seen him slow down. <laughs> so my focus thing didn't didn't help me do any more damage. Oh, that's an archer. Look at that. You see how the the damage totally falls off. He's going to run over to his buddies. Bowmaster's ring. Maybe that maybe that increases your bow skills.
what I, re I I know I said this before, but I really like just basically using the bow. Now that was a good hit. I like using the bow to draw them over one at a time. So these human bones is uh, part of the junk that you can sell, I believe. Plant oil, copper and sandstone. Man, I must have h hundreds of bottles by now. A fair amount of copper too, I believe. Loot. It's a great looting game. Fabric dye. In case I want to make my tunic purple. It's possible this is just one big open area. Oh, uh, doctor said don't sprint through these areas too because you're missing all the mushrooms. Makes sense. They are they are kind of hard to see. I just picked up some right there. Uh, I think I found two. How to win pirates and influence captains. So see, this is another one of those excerpts. So this is kind of like for your reading pleasure type of thing. It's not going to... I don't think that's going to give me any any benefit. I think I found two different types of mushrooms is what I was saying. I believe. There looks like a door over there. Over there. A ruined book. Fabric dye. That looks like he's that dude's got a hat on, so he's somebody special. He's somebody that really wants to take all my health potions away. I'm gonna have to do some more hunting. Obviously, I need food. Um and the food goes bad. Oh, there's two dudes. I had one where I thought I was having open shots at him, and after I went over to him, I saw that it was hitting the edge of a tree. You guys might be asking, why don't you block more? I tried a lot. There's a... Um, block percentage on this is higher. It's 60%. The other ones, I think, were 30. The parry window is 3 um, and you gotta you gotta time it perfectly, and when I it kind of throws me off in the rest of the fight. But maybe if I get one that's even higher, maybe I'll try it again. I, I try it once in a while. I do try it once in a while. How does a bone that guy saw me? It's just a guardian. I think that he might have more health, though. See, he's got the frost on him. I don't see him being any slower. He's got the frost effect on him right now. Oh! Ancient stone shard. That's the third one that I need. Alright, well, if we see a chest in here, now that we know we can go back to our forge craft that key and get the chest and then we'll have to see if the key is used up or if it remains in our inventory that would be interesting interesting to know dang what's with all the copper picks pickaxes how about giving a tales of the sea excerpts okay I'm picking up all this stuff so I can sell it. Um, Cause I imagine there's gonna be stuff. Oh, ancient key required right there. Oh, the thing I just owed about wasn't that. It was, um, I'll show you. So remember I said that I believe that the cartographer had other blueprints for uh, bigger, faster ships. Well, the king that I killed, and it, look, I'm making it out to be something. It's it's the same as what we just went through here. There just happened to be a king there. It was no big deal. But look at this. Uh, it's not on here. I'll have to show you back at the cartographer station. He gave me a blueprint 
Oh, nice. He gave me a blueprint for a new ship, and I am so far away from being able to make it. Like, I want to say that one of the, obviously, one of the big things was, um, obviously that like the type of wood and the materials needed to craft it. But the biggest thing was like, I needed to be, I think it was, um, I think it was the, not the forge, either the woodworking or cartographer station. I need to be like level 70. <laughs> I'm not even level 10. Okay, so that ship is a long way away. But it's cool that I have it. Ancient key recipe. I got another ancient key recipe. There's two stone shards and a sapphire. I wonder why it let me... That says ancient chest. Why, why did it let... See this parchment here that's open? That should give me another recipe to actually read, I believe. Let's double check that. We got the... R Ravager's amulet and the ancient key recipe. All right, we get everything out of here. Cool. All right, so this chest here, ancient key required. So we got to go back to our forge, craft the key, and come back. We finally have enough stuff for it. I don't think we're that far in. It's probably nighttime anyway. Yep, nighttime. I believe I came from this direction. Look at it, there's another cave right there. So the that last island I was just on when we started the episode was skeletons. This one's skeletons. Interesting. Mm-hmm. If you see dogs, avoid them. They are their bite. Wow. They took me to a sliver of health. Uh, absolute sliver of health. All right. So, cartographer station. This guy, the King's Galleon. So, this is what... It's a purple one. It's obviously... It's obviously way at the top, right? Being that it's level purple, which is... I don't know what that is. Rare. Oh, it's level 40, not 70. So, level 40, and I'm not even at 10 yet, to even attempt to make it. Then we got stuff like... Wormwood planks, rune cloths, platinum ingots, sparkling sandpaper, and seafoam stain. So we're <laughs> we're way off from being able to do anything with that. But that's okay. It's something to shoot for, and at least I have the recipe. I didn't have to. All right, we're gonna craft an ancient key. Nice. Uh, what else? Nothing else right now. Make some health potion, some cooking oil, and that's it. All right, back to that one thing, and let's see, in their keys, there's my ancient key. We'll see if it uses... Okay, that time it did use my lockpick, so I must have had three. I thought I only had two. Uh, that's another thing we got to remember when we go to the forge. Used to open up locks. I think I have the ability to craft those now. When I found a lockpick, I think that's when it said you have the ability to craft lockpicks now. But I'm like, I hadn't run into anything that needed lockpicking yet. Now I've run into two. We'll go over there next. Curious to see what's inside here. One. Two. Is it going to use up my key? Interesting. What do you guys think? Would it use up the key? Maybe. Because some of the things do. Arrows, lovely rogue's bow, sapphire stamina potion, oh, widow's hat recipe. All right. It, use, it uses up the key. Okay, that's what I thought. Look at my, my silver, though. You can tell I've, I've been getting stuff up to 20. I think we were at like 11 here. So I've been ranking that up pretty good. And I got, I got a lot of stuff to sell. I'm at 171 of 200 on encumbrance. So... If I don't find a place soon, I'll just have to dump, like, all the extra swords and hatchets and stuff like that into um, into my chest on my boat. So we picked up a new bow. 
This guy? All right, so this guy had... Oh, by the way, the shovels are melees. I thought it was to dig. They're melees, and they're god-awful melees. Two talents, two to seven attack, dexterity and constitution, and shoots arrows, a common bow for sneaky types. What is my bow? Which one is my bow? The traveler. One to six... Yeah, I, I think we should try it. All right, first off, let's we put on number two. Second off, Pirate Hunter. Deals extra damage to pirates or gives you minor strength. And then we've got Poison. Adds a chance of one to two poison damage every one second for 10 seconds or Dexterity, which increases the special effects on weapons and armors also increases hit chance with weapons that scale with dexterity so let's go see you can see these are um common being gray this is uh better and even better well, let's just go with this like that so boom 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 and we'll equip it that equipping it just puts it in my hand i realized that we have 44 arrows that's double 22 Double 22. Yeah, we're... We're gonna have a problem with, uh... That was not bad. But I've got... It's set up for damage against pirates. This is where I found out I had more reach for the fights. Was, uh, when I was chasing these fools around. Because I was swinging. I'm like, oh my god, I hit him. He was really far in front of me. I'm like, maybe that'll work in a fight. That's how I figured out that I had a little bit greater reach than it looked like. Ooh, health potion. Jam. So it used up our key, huh? Got that guy... That's a pure headshot right there. I got lucky. I aimed way in front of him on that one. I just did that because I need food. I need food. And I'm guessing that, like, with the boar and the bear and the deer, they all have different hides. And some of these recipes require different hides. So as we go along, I'm sure we're going to encounter tougher and tougher animals. Like the dogs. I never killed a dog. <laughs> I never killed a dog. I ran. I ran and jumped into the water. Hoping that the dog did not know how to dog paddle. <laughs> Luckily it didn't. It didn't come after me. Alright, see what's in here. Loot cave. I guess I'd kill him. He's a pirate. Where are you going, son? That was a power hit. You could see me wind, wind up on that one. Okay, loot cave, fishing lure, fishing lure, and mor morning dew. Okay, man, I must have a lot of copper. I've been hitting copper and not making any copper ingots. I must have a lot of copper. Maybe that's a lot of my weight too. Actually, it shows zero weight. Uh, so I'm carrying some ingots. See, that's saying point one. Interesting why that's light. 0.6, is that 0.6 per times 60? Wood is 0 0.6, 0 0.1. Iron ingots, 0 0.2 times 24, maybe. Uh, what about... Oh, I'm like, where's all my weapons? Anyway... Three pounds, two pounds, yeah. Okay, so that's where a lot of the weight is. But also, I'm sure there's a lot of weight because those are probably multipliers. Pirate's log. Treasure is safe, locked it up. Anyone getting in here will need a special key to open this gate. And only captains carry those keys. Anyone brave enough to challenge a captain? Ha ha, good luck. All right, well, that was one of those books that we needed to read. 
So that means there's gonna be a captain in there, huh? Yeah, I definitely need food because even though I'm filling up those bananas, I'm barely filling them up because you can see it's already it's already out again. So there must be there must be a captain on this island. That's got to be what it is, huh? Captain on the island. Hmm. All right. So definitely more involved on these islands. This one so far has had that watchtower. It had the respite with the um, the skellies, and now I think we're going to be finding a captain pirate area somewhere. We were over there, so I'm guessing this way. I think in between episodes, I'll dump inventory into my chest. That way, uh... Mm. Aqua stone. Wow. That way, I will not be so, so encumbered. Oh, the other thing I did... Oddly enough, you learn all this stuff when you actually read the screen. <laughs> These journeyman boots... Um, you see how it's always up there? Uses no stamina when not in combat. So if you're running around the island, I was, the reason why I found this out, I'm like, why is my stamina bar not popping up? So I looked at my journeyman boots. Sprint costs no stamina when not in combat. These boots are made for walking. That's pretty darn good, right? When you're just running around like this, like looting the island, it's pretty good. At least I think it's good. All right, there's a place right there. Now I'm eager to try my bow, see if it does some more damage. That looks like a, a trading post more than a pirate place. Could be wrong. I haven't even looked at this lately. Dark fur, epic. I haven't looked at any of that stuff on my boat lately. Why can't I? Black, not blacksmith. What is that symbol there? Outfitter. Huh. What up, man? What, uh, you seen any pirate kings around here? I should have known it was an outfitter. He had a, a loom out front. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to sell some stuff to this guy. And we'll come back next episode. We'll continue on. We'll do a quick reconnoiter of this island. There's another island over there. I do believe that's a different island. That one over there. Pretty sure. We'll do a quick... That was the respite right there. Maybe... Maybe I just need like a random captain's key that I don't use on another island? Hmm. Interesting. Not sure. But somewhere around here, we have a map to a shipwreck too. So we're going to try and do all of that while we're here. And all along, we're trying to find warlords. Trying to find warlords. So you guys, hit the old like button. Join me next episode. Thanks for watching.